Hi everyone, I'm Teacher Andrew. Today I'm going to read you one of my favorite books about when a new kid enters the family. Um, some of you watching this might have had that experience of being the first kid, the only kid, and then having a little brother or little sister come into your family. Um, others of you might have been the little brother or the little sister once and then um, as you grow up, then another another small person enters your family. This book is called The New Small Person. And um, it's written by this lady, Lauren Child, who's British. And um, I just can't not read the book with, at least when people are speaking, with a kind of silly British accent. So bear with me on that, but I think that the language is just, is uh, it's kind of a must. Okay, The New Small Person by Lauren Child. This orange jelly bean here is going to be very important, so pointing it out. The New Small Person by Lauren Child. Elmore Green started off life as an only child, as many children do. He had a room all to himself, and everything in it was his. He was very proud of his room. He watched all his favorite cartoons on his own little TV set. No one ever changed the channel. He'd line up all of his precious things on the floor and no one moved them one inch. When his uncle Cecil gave him a jar of jelly beans, Elmore could eat every single bean all by himself in whatever order he liked. There was no need to worry about anyone eating the orange ones because Elmore Green's parents did not eat jelly beans. Elmore Green's parents thought that he was simply the funniest, cleverest, and most adorable person they had ever seen. And Elmore Green liked that, because it's nice to be the funnest, funniest, cleverest, most adorable person someone has ever seen. But then one day, everything changed. Somebody else came along. The new person was small and didn't do much, but still picked People picked it up and smelled at it and gave it things to chew. They all seemed to like it, maybe a little bit more than they liked Elmore Green. The new small person didn't like watching Elmore Green's favorite TV cartoons and would squawk until the channel was changed. Elmore did not find shows for small people at all stimulating, but everyone said the small person couldn't help it because it was only small. Sometimes the small person would come into Elmore's room and knock things over and sit on things that didn't want to be sat on. Once it actually licked Elmore Green's jelly bean collection, including the orange ones. As anyone knows, jelly beans that have been licked are not nearly so nice. But everyone said that Elmore Green could not be angry because the small person was only small. Elmore Green wished that the small person would go back to wherever it came from. But Elmore's parents explained that this was not possible. The small person got bigger, and things got much worse. One day, Elmore found the small person wearing his fourth most favorite outfit, without asking. That's mine, said Elmore. It is not for small people. I want to be the same as you, said the small person. But Elmore Green did not want to be the same as someone small. The small person followed Elmore Green everywhere. It wanted to sit next to him. It wanted to copy everything that Elmore did. It wanted to be everywhere that Elmore was. Where are you going, Elmore? said the small person. Nowhere, said Elmore. Can I come? said the small person. And when the small person said things like this, Elmore Green would go sit up in a tree. He did not want someone small following him around. One awful day, the small person moved its bed into Elmore Green's room. Now Elmore couldn't get away from it. It was always there, looking at him. Sometimes it would stretch out its arms and say, Huggle! But Elmore didn't want to cuddle up to someone small. However, one night, everything changed. Elmore Green had a bad dream. It was very upsetting. A scary thing was chasing him, waving its grabbers and gnashing its teeth. Elmore screamed, and the small person bravely got out of bed and clung onto him. Go away, scary, shouted the small person. 
It was so nice to have someone there in the dark when the scaries were around. A few days later, Elmore Green was lining up all of his precious things so that they reached from his bedroom door all the way down the stairs. It was a very long line of things. The small person was amazed. Ooh, it said. I could make them reach to the front door if I had more things, said Elmore. I have more things, said the small person. I have at least five or three things. You can have them. It felt good to have someone there who understood why a long line of things was so special. The next evening, Elmore was laughing at the TV. The small person looked at Elmore, and then at the TV, and then he laughed too. It was very funny. More funny somehow with two people listening than just one. Elmore opened his jar of jelly beans. You could have a jelly bean if you like, Albert. His brother Albert smiled. Elmore smiled back. Whichever color you like, said Elmore. Except orange. And there's the jar of jelly beans on the back. Thanks for joining me. See you next time.